Here's Rand Paul. Remember Rand Paul, I mean, uh, is a guy who um, basically created his own certification to become an optometrist. Is that what it was? Ophthalmologist? Um, I don't even know if we should put a do. Here's Ron Paul, uh, Rand Paul, accusing uh, Fauci of lying before Congress regarding the Wuhan la lab. And of course, you know, regardless of 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 what the source of covid-19 was and i have seen a very i've seen no evidence that it was a lab created thing it's not inconceivable that it could be something that was being studied and uh, leaked out of a lab although i think that is uh, also um uh th there's an absence of evidence regarding that theory as well. But here's Rand Paul just driving this vaccine hesitancy by by shrouding it as if like it was in some level like because this you have to reverse engineer it. This exchange is going to be used by those who want to create skepticism about the vaccine as to like this all goes into the pandemic uh theory it all becomes fodder for that theory dr fauci knowing that it is a crime to lie to congress do you wish to retract your statement of may 11th where you claimed that the nih never funded gain-of-function research in wuhan senator paul i have never lied before the congress microphone your microphone senator paul i have never lied before the congress and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. So what was, what let me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. Let's okay, you get NIH. one person. Let's read from the NIH, NIH definition can I answer of gain the of function. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility among mammals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increase their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function. It is not. It's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for 4 million people dying around the world okay. from a pandemic. And, and let's let send Dr. Fauci. I have to, well, now you're getting into something. If the point that you are making is that the, the, the grant that was funded as a sub-award from EcoHealth to Wuhan created SARS-CoV-2. That's where you are getting. Let me finish. We don't know. Well, we don't wait know a minute. If it did I come can from the lab, but all you. the evidence is pointing that it came from the lab, you, and there will be responsibility for those who funded the right. lab, including yourself. I totally This committee resent, will allow the witness to respond. I totally resent the lie that you are now propagating, Senator. Um, let's... Uh, uh, they um after that uh exchange tina smith who was chairing the um the hearing at that point allows fauci uh to respond and if anybody and is lying been. here senator it is you uh senator smith <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Fauci. And thanks to all of our panelists for being here today. And uh, thank you, Chair Murray and Ranking Member Burr. Um, I just want to say, Dr. Fauci, is there anything more that you would like to say to counteract these um, attacks on your integrity that we've all just witnessed? Well, Senator, thank you. I don't think I have anything further to say. This is a pattern that Senator Paul has been doing now at multiple hearings based on no reality. He keeps talking about gain of function. This has been evaluated multiple times by qualified people to not fall under the gain of function definition. I have not lied before Congress. I have never lied, certainly not before Congress. Case closed.
Thank you. So in May, the NIH uh, director said that neither the NIH nor NIA, uh, NIAID had ever approved any grant that would have supported gain of function research on coronaviruses that it would have increased their transmittability or lethality for humans. In other words, um, there was certainly grants that were given, but not for that purpose. It's not clear whether that was even going on in uh, the uh, Wuhan lab at all. Um, but there was no, you know, the the gist of this at the end of the day is to cast more, um, I, I, you know, I guess skepticism and doubt on the reality of the pandemic. That's ultimately what it is, right? I mean, they want, this is all an extension of that pandemic stuff. And if they can build this case that it was a pandemic, not a pandemic, but it was planned. Then, of course, it becomes like, why did they do this? To exercise control over us. Because somehow there's some value to, to government to force us to wear masks. And that this, um, the vaccine was just a basically something developed so that they, they could make money only. It's not really going to do anything. It's not really important. It's all part of the uh, pandemic. I mean, that's what's, what's going on here. It's, it's, it's insane. It really is nuts. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.